we also see that both China and Iran are preparing new weapons. Now, Paul Joseph Watson is reporting that China is preparing to target U.S. aircraft carriers with a new hypersonic missile that they just tested. He says China's new hypersonic missile vehicle is primarily designed to target U.S. aircraft carriers. Military expert Chen Hu told the state-run Chinese Central Television in yet another admission of Beijing's increasingly hostile geopolitical posturing. Now, this is the Wu-14, a hypersonic glide vehicle which can penetrate missile defense systems by traveling at up to 10 times the speed of sound. Well, remember back in the 1990s when all the military technology was transferred to the Chinese, both covertly and overtly by the Clinton administration? Now that they have enhanced capabilities, they're using this now to push for a new arms race here with the military industrial complex. And we see that another former deputy director of the IAEA is speculating that Iran could be just two to three weeks away from a nuclear bomb if they don't abide by the new agreement. He says they still have quite a substantial stock of uranium hexafluoride, which is enriched to 20 percent. Now, it's interesting, isn't it, that it's hexafluoride, because one of the reasons we have fluoridation of the water, if you'll remember, is because we're disposing of byproducts of both the aluminum and the nuclear industry. Hexafluoride is something that is used to turn the uranium into a gas so that it can be used in the enrichment process. And the waste product of that is, of course, dumped in our water. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.